The vision for this project first came to me about three years ago when I was a graduate student at Juilliard, and I was studying Schumann's Carnival Opus 9 at that time. Schumann was known not only as one of the most ingenious composers, he was also known for his schizophrenic personalities. In Carnival, Schumann introduces many different characters, such as his own schizophrenic personalities, famous clowns from the Italian comedy theater, his lover Clara, and his musical friends such as Chopin and Paganini. Schumann brings all these unique personalities together and put them in a work, a musical playground, in which the audience is invited to meet each of them through 20 little pieces. Whenever I play this piece, I see very vivid images in my mind, and I thought, what would it be like to be able to share that with the audience? So I envision an embodied form of classical music that integrates with visual element, and I thought Carnival was the perfect piece for such a project. You know, when people hear the word carnival, there are pictures and images strongly associated with that word. You would think of celebration, festivals. It's not an unfamiliar word. But I had to put off the project because I couldn't find time to produce 20 paintings in response to the 20 pieces in carnival. When Haley moved to the city, we became roommates. And actually, before that, we've been friends since middle school. And the very first chamber group that I've ever played in was with her, where she was the cellist. She was already exhibiting and curating works back then, and I've always been a huge fan of her work. So naturally, when we became roommates, the idea of visualizing Schumann's Carnival resurfaced, and one day, we were just doing the dishes in the kitchen and I casually brought up the idea to her and now here we are. A scene of musical performance taking place in a room filled with artworks is not unfamiliar. Rather, the history of classical music and visual arts have always existed in parallel. My interest in cross-disciplinary exhibitions was growing when Eileen brought up the idea, and I wanted to push the concept of collaboration further so that I'm not just listening to Eileen's performance while I was painting. So I asked Eileen to play each piece from Carnival Opus 9 onto a corresponding surface of a work. Eileen, with paint on her fingers, pressed on these aluminum sheets in complete silence. Yet despite the silence, I could hear her play through the movements of her body and intake of her breaths. And this is what I wanted to translate into these paintings. Creating Carnival in New York at the Consulate General of Hungary was a challenging but exciting experience because we were trying to combine the concepts of exhibition and piano recital together. We 
opened the night with a cocktail reception that allowed the guests to get a preview of the exhibition, which was then followed by Eileen's performance of Carnival Opus 9. Carnival in New York is not just our interpretation of Schumann's Carnival Opus 9, but it is the culmination of our belief in the importance of cross-disciplinary collaborations, and it is also the celebration of diversity and vibrancy of New York that has allowed us to put this project together. Thank you.